Can you all hear me? Yes. Okay, cool. Um, so show us your spine. So um, how it worked, and this is also, again, thanks to um, Mason, too, with like, okay, well, what are we going to use, and what am I going to really draw upon? And so there's two. Um, there's Pat Parker, and there's the one and only uh, Jewel Gomez, who's actually here present. Um, those are the two uh, black, lesbian women, poets, artists, um, freedom fighters that uh, I was formally introduced to, actually, and was able to really go through their work and what is available with Pat Parker. So you'll see here what's listed, um, some of what she's uh, published in her heyday, and then she's also been featured in multiple anthologies. And so what is upstairs um, are these, there's a total of four poems, two that are handwritten and one typed. And the two that are handwritten have a theme about hands. And um, it's like, well, the first uh, to the, what is it, left, one is like, I've seen your hands, old, cracked with creation. And the next piece goes into the themes of molding yourself to freedom. And um, from Pat, I wrote two poems. Uh, can you, you're gonna have to be, um, tell me some time, like cues, because I don't want to go over. Oh, maybe give me like three minutes. I want to be like a transitional point. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, fuck it. I'm not even going to try to look at my notes because I will get lost in what I've done. I just remember going up there, going through these pages, writing notes. And so from Pat, um, I have Magnolia and Jasmine. And these pieces came out kind of exploring ways on how, like what does it mean to be queer and sensual? Queer and where the fierce warrior within is resting and where it becomes intimate and where it becomes soft. And that, you know, I mean, I come in, I, like personally, I always come off hella hard but, and feral. In many ways, I still am. But it's like kind of like the deep within, I don't know, just kind of experimenting on what does it mean or how can freedom also be intimate and sexual and sensual. So we'll go with it. And, I drew from that because of the hands, and then also this poem where she goes in, um, where she wrote, from my bedroom window, the city lights are calm, and I think of you. My fingers touch my body, and I wish it was you. And she goes on. And so that was like kind of a point of like, okay, I'm gonna jump off from here. All right, so <clears throat> that's me flapping my tongue. Are you ready to hear some poetry? Yes. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Your hands forge freedom. An unshakable knowing your worth is your breath. No one confirms your merit, defines your value. Pacific winds have summoned you. They sing your name from the palm of your rhythm to the arteries pushing waves. Your bones penetrate pavement. Each centennial finger knows the walls broken down. From sunrise to moonset, each limb grows. Through the obstruction obliterating fear, you blossom near thick glaring leaves emanating your shine, your dance, your love, unfazed, unfurled. You stretch your arms, extend your eyes, you watch, trap souls, trap others for prizes, lost souls doped up on any and all narcotics, souls struggling to recognize their own light. Only those who seek see you, feel you, recognize your breath through trees. You digest the wretched odor of diseased bodies. You release a fragrance sleepless beetles yearn for. Thank you. That's one. <clears throat> Now, 
next one I have is Jasmine. And this is definitely like an emulation of this piece that you see here. <clears throat> when drones surveil from a scant star shuddering sky, military tests new aircraft, burgundy clouds haunt city lights, memories of you unroll in my bedroom. I lay there naked, under blankets, perspiring a desire to have your lips touch mine, to have your fingers and thighs baptize me, to have your long hair be the petals of my bliss. I can still taste jasmine on my quivering breath. On hot days, you placed the fresh flower in our cool waters, and we swung under a waxing moon, embracing each other at multiple angles. I listen to my own heart beat as hands explore the mountains and canyons of my own body. I open, imagining our vulvas breathing into each other. My head leans back, thighs further widen. I come. Gushing, gasping, gulping for more jasmine water. Thank you. And so, um, thank you. So these next two pieces I have, uh, Hyacinth and Gazania, um, were inspired by the archival footage of Jewel Gomez. Now she has six boxes. Um, like Pat Parker had like a folder. Okay, thank you. Oh my God. Okay, so. <laughs> and so going through six boxes, um, I broke a sweat and I was just like trying, cause you know, they're all really categorized. But um, from what I found, um, it was a mixture of drafts from chapter one out of the past. And there were phrases that she used um, for instance, like lightning rod butches, and um, when she did workshops, and correct me if I'm wrong, you taught at Hunter College, or, yes, okay, so w one of the materials that she brought was this article, com um, Compulsory Heterosexuality and Lesbian e Existence, and so going through this, in drafts of oral tradition, I have two poems that I would like to close out with, if I may, and then I'll be out. <clears throat> okay. We moan in motion. The ocean floor spreads. Our fragrance, the breath, correspondence made between sun and moon. Water either rises or recedes. They listen to love. Mother Earth births new land, drowning islands. Continents question their boundaries. Will we transform, diverge, converge in the millennia after Stonewall? Or will we remain isolated by a sea of compulsory heterosexuality, heteronormativity, Hetero, it is my right to rape and kill a woman, deny her choice in society. Hetero, let's lynch a black fag. Hetero, colonialists. Hetero imperialist, hetero hatred for all non white, non cisgendered men, hetero no. We magnetic, shimmery, lithospheric, held by a moonlit black sky. We genderless, colorful, holding divine feminine in the curvature of each petal. We courageously sprawl our hips. Legs, lips, we the hyacinth, a passionate, purporeal procession, watered by Apollonian tears, we sprout from slain blood, Zephyr killed in jealousy. From his treachery, we blossom. We glitter latex, stitch our paths over countless rainbows. We find each other. Thank you.
And then, uh, so there's a couple, like, there's that one interview. I'm going to close out with this one. My bad. And, um, and she talks about femmes. And then there's, like, this anecdote with, her, like, her grandmother of, like, what a high femme is. Um, and so, okay, I'll go with this. Oh. Vivid, velvety sunrises. Each floret inextinguishable. Each exhaled color you irresistibly long to kiss, caress with honeyed fingers. We blossom the flames of your yearning to taste butter on your tongue, on your fingers. Feel the fatty cream gently cascade down your left leg. You want us more than sunshine, more than the holiness of kin. We a treasure among sequined stars, rhinestone laughter. We exceed the price of elephant tusk. Our riches erect lightning rod butches. Our leaves the greenest, our walk the flow of rivers. Each petal opens the widest when planted in full sun. Grandmother would say we high femmes on our best days when handkerchiefs nuzzle back pockets when dresses silhouette the galaxies of our bodies, when puckered up tangerine lips and black stilettos stain no one. True, bona fide femmes, an electrifying landscape, legends defying myths, repackage, redesign, reinvent the aesthetics of femininity. We femmes unapologetically arrive unannounced. Thank you.